Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new TikTok piercing fail reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang, Sushan, the Scalding Hot, Assam, the El Grey, the Lady Grey? What is the tea? It's scalding me as we speak. Hi everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are diving back into the world of TikTok piercing fails. Probably the favorite thing on the channel. Ugh. I know it's not that long since my last one, but my inbox was completely flooded for the last video and I didn't want any of this to accidentally get hidden or go to waste. So we're doing another TikTok piercing fails. I hope you enjoy this one. A little tiny note just before we do get started. Me being the imbecile that I am and the IQ of minus 100, I uploaded a video on Thanksgiving, not realizing that, you know, when 60% of your audience is American, probably not a good idea to upload a video on Thanksgiving day. And it was a spawn, which makes it even more embarrassing. So if you didn't see my last video, make sure you do go check it out. We did a really fun new piercing look and it was probably one of the weirdest ones I've ever done like fully I was fully gagged that I was that I even agreed to do this so make sure you go do check out my last video I have linked it below and there'll be a card at the end and all that stuff yes I, I was really stupid and uploaded a video on Thanksgiving which is a really dumb thing to do when your biggest audience demographic is in America <laughs> but anyway please hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell to miss any videos that are coming up but let's not beat about the bush here and let's get on with this ta TikTok tat no I'm getting confused now piercings <laughs> Okay, so in the water, and I turn around, I see this. What? Hello, studio. This dude's in, oh, in the middle of class. Oh, you're crazy, Man, bitch. Oh, well, for God's sake. In the water, and I turn Where are the around, teachers? Where are the te Again, we were never left Hello in our studios. classrooms alone for Look more than like two minutes to be able to do something like this. It's stupid. Not, like, pff, can you not wait until your lunch break? You're like, no, actually in the class, waiting for the teachers to come and do it right now. The thing is, as well, it's like this person, there's like, this isn't just like, oh, a bit shitty, like, they're just leaning over themselves. No gloves, no protection. Like, imagine if that just suddenly starts gushing blood because you've pierced through like an artery, like a vein or just something, you know, a capillary goes. Imagine you've pierced through something you shouldn't be piercing through. And then all of a sudden, it's just blood gushing everywhere. Suddenly the teacher's like, oh my God, Bessie, what have you done? I don't know, miss. It just started bleeding dead. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. You know how the old saying goes, birds of a feather die in class. The thing is as well, I'm always like, do your school even allow lip piercings? Because like most schools, at least in the, I, I don't know where this was. It probably was America. Well, it's America because they're not wearing uniforms. I just find it interesting that schools allow that. When I was in high school, our school was a little bit lenient with a lot of stuff, but our school was like terrible. My sister works as a head teacher, well, I'm quite high up in the head teacher now. So she's, she's, she sees over like multiple schools. I ask all the time, like what are rules a lot of the schools? And like none of them allow this kind of like facial piercing. Some of them might allow like a earlobe piercing, but none of them allow like facial piercings or anything. So like maybe America just seems to be still okay with it? And like, surely your teachers won't allow you to have a lip piercing. I don't know. Anyone watching this, like if you're young, still in school, or if you remember when you were in school, did your school allow you to have piercings? And if so, how many, where, like what were the piercing rules in your school? I would absolutely love to know. Okay, so what is this? Amazon knows piercing fail. Couldn't load cap, but what's this? <gasps> Wait, what? This person's trying, oh no sis, stop it. Stop it. Oh my God. God, why are you trying to... <sighs> Come on, sis, you're old enough to know this is dumb. You're not, like, you're clearly an adult. Like, oh, you're, you should be, know this is... Oh, through. God, it won't go through. Of course it won't. Because it's not meant mm -hmm. for that. God. No. <clears throat> Sob, she's sobbing, girls. I don't care. Did not go all the way through. Surprise, surprise. The nose piercing didn't go so well. Surprise, oh. surprise. I don't care. Stupid. Oh, just like dirty fingernails inside the yeah. nose. God, again, you're like, sorry. Like you're too old for doing this oh, kind of stuff. Oh God. She popped it through. Pop, pop goes the slat. Yeah, this is. Infections waiting to happen, girls. Yeah, this again, this isn't about ages and we're being ageist. I just think when you get to a certain age, you should know that this kind of stuff is stupid. Like, how do you, I don't know how old this person is. I'm gonna use this cartridge on my nose and rip a hole. Like, I just find it weird that like, I don't know. I think when you get to a certain age, you just should know that this isn't a good idea. I don't know. Okay, so what is this? So this is this person. <gasps> Wait, what? Are you kidding? <gasps> no, stop it. What are you doing? Oh. 
How old is that? Sorry, you, sorry, do you want to start? That is a child. That is literally a child. I'm assuming these are this kid's younger siblings. Like these younger siblings are like five and like seven or something. This kid can't be more than like 12. This kid must be about 12 years old. And he's got an eyebrow piercing, a scaffolding piercing, low piercings. So, uh, I think I saw a tongue web piercing and they're getting a snake eye piercing. Are you kidding? Terrible parenting. Terrible parenting. Are you joking? That's another guy a tattoo! Unhinged. 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 That's unhinged. That's uh, that's actually that's what. That's a kid. That that am I being insane? Is it, am I being insane? Like what? So I mean, no one should get snake eye piercings as a whole. But like this kid has an. Uh, just take away even snake eye piercing. This child has like an eyebrow piercing. Clearly, like a twelve-year-old kid or whatever. And like they've already got the eyebrow piercing. So God knows when they got that done because it looks healed. A child should not have an eyebrow piercing. Like you're you're growing. Your face is going to change shape. They had a nose stud as well and a tragus piercing on the side. What? Again, this should be illegal. This shouldn't be like I don't know where they are. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure what language. I think it's like Spanish. A kid of that age getting a. a snake eye piercing that's unhinged that's unhinged i'm fully like i'm not normally a bit shocked for words like to not say anything i don't know what to say like generally genuinely i don't know how to react to that how is the piercing studio allowed to do that surely that's not legal that's that made me really uncomfortable that's really uncomfortable okay so what's all sensitive content i'm scared Oh, 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 it gets worse. Oh, it keeps getting worse. Oh, no. So unfortunately, I am going to have to blur the bottom half of the ear because it's like a massacre. It looks so disgusting. Oh, no, she's pushing it out. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it here. Now, this part, you can see all of the skin cells, all the, like, clog, clog, clogged up stuff. The Like, it, this is disgusting. Like, I've never cleaned my earrings. But this bottom half here, unfortunately, I, am, I can't show it to you. It's too graphic. But the best way to explain it to you is, have you ever played Zelda Tears of a Kingdom? And in the world, there are these holes that you go down that goes to the underworld. And it's all fiery and disgusting around the top of it. And it's like the hell hole. Essentially, this is what this looks like. If you don't get that reference, I apologize. It looks like, well, a bloody hole. Prolapse. Do you want to look at my gaping orifice? It looks, it looks revolting. I don't know what's happening, but like even this bit here, you can see bruising and like stuff around here. Like this isn't good. But the buildup of like skin cells here and like dirt, like why are you not cleaning? Crusty wasties, dirty, infections, death. Part three okay. of piercing myself. Part three of piercing myself. Bitch, I'm not fucking <sighs> excited. Then don't do it. Because if I don't like it, I'm taking it out. Simple as that. Now, I don't know where the f*** to pierce just... this shit. So I'm going to do my research and then I'm going to come back. I don't I don't like this attitude. You know what, uh, bitch. I don't uh, care. Oh my God. Wait, what the hell is that? Is that a I don't, what I don't is that? give a f*** uh, no more. You think this face gives a f***? Well, I mean, that's a lot of uh, swearing and attitude for someone who doesn't give a uh, <laughs> God. Really quickly. I love that they've got like they've got earrings in their nose as well. Like they clearly just put some earrings in there. Look, they look so, it's like, so big. They look kind of silly. Bitch, this is traumatizing me. Then stop. The ha there's a hashtag whatever, in the bio. The hashtag fine. goes oh, hashtag make me famous. <sighs> That's a, is that a pen lid? I think she's using yeah. a pen lid as like the feeding tube at the end. You lift God. it up like that. Stupid. The doctor prescribed the plague. Oh, the, the face, the face filter's going. Ah, well, ah, I'm the dumbest <laughs> bitch on the planet. God, what is this? What is she doing? I've been kind of jumping around, so I've missed it. What? What is she? She's using a thumbtack, like one of the ones that you push on like pin boards to be like, oh, today, children, we're going to learn about gout. The thing is, the, the those kind of like thumbtack things, like they're meant to be going like, you know, the, the cork boards that you get in schools or like, you know, in your kitchen, whatever, you put like, <gasps> notes up and stuff. Oh. Like, it's not sharp enough for this. It's not sharp enough to pierce through like flesh. And it's thick as well. Like they're thick. They're not really thin. They're thick. That's going to be, th I don't know what the size of it, but it's definitely going to be thicker than like an average piercing bar. God. Oh. I just love the little, the, the filters being like, ah, I don't know where your mouth is going. Oh. God. In there, bro. She loves the F word, doesn't she? She's loving F words. And that right eyelash is going to jump. <laughs> oh, 
God, what are you just stop? Oh, my God, oh, oh I hate it. Why? Why would you do that? You're gonna die. God. <gasps> How many times do Ow. I have to try to tell you? Stop I can't doing talk this quick, stupid bro. shit. <laughs> Oh, I don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> tell it, tell it, I don't feel sorry for you, you stupid fuck girl, it. for pissing your fuck filth everybody, drum. Fuck everything, fuck everybody. Think about your ex, bitch. Think about your ex? I mean, I'd be an ex too. <laughs> oh. Huh. There's like one more skin layer, bro, and it hurts. This is, I'll be so surprised if you even manage to get this to heal. How are you even going to get the bar in afterwards? God. Oh. Is it really that, like, do you want it that badly? Do you really want it that bad? Is it worth that much? Is it really worth this? Holy sh! Okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm crazy, bro. I'm f***ing crazy. So now, yeah, but what are you gonna do now to get the rest? Like, what are you gonna do to actually get the bar in? So now she's just gonna take it out. You're just gonna... T then what? Oh god. God, oh, st this is this is this is go going on for way too long, sis. Well, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Bro, it's fucking close. Oh. And it looks dumb. Surprise, bro. surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Maybe I can make <laughs> it work. Holy sh. God. Bro, I did it. Woo! It looks so dumb. Like you've just got earrings. Like, you just put earrings Part in it as well. It's not even like my actual studs for those kind of. Th it's just an earring. That's just one of those like piercing gun earrings. It's so stupid. So what was on the inside of that? I'd love to have seen what was on the inside of that. I bet it was just the bar. Can you imagine scraping along the teeth and the gum? It's like oh, scrapey wapey. This is seriously one of those memes now. Is that when you pierce yourself with a thumbtack through your lip and you don't know why it's hurting? Surprise, surprise. R.I.P. Silla. I don't care. Yeah, that was really dumb. Like, what were you doing? Like, again, selection is natural. That's what's going on here, girls. I, this is stupid. I just hate that kind of, like, hashtag make me famous, hashtag viral. Like, is it really worth it? Is getting some attention? Because that video had 39 likes. Was it worth it? Okay, so what is My this? client came in to get her hoop switched out. They gave her an irritation bump, also known as a keloid. Give her her. Gave her an irritation bump, also known as a keloid. No. That just came the piercing bump solution, you're gonna add a... That's not... There, there's something weird. Okay, there is something weird going on with this person. So we've seen this this channel for a, a while now. And this is the one that do like the, the, the spin of the wheel piercing. They did like the double um, industrial piercing using one needle. They did the industrial piercing with that one person that clearly did not have a big enough rim. They've been on my channel a few times now doing really questionable things now this is supposed to be a piercing like an actual qualified piercing piercing studio and they've said how to get rid of keloids irritation bumps off your nose piercing and then they've just gone use this little solution it's going to get rid of a, a keloid you need you need keloids don't just go away from like such some like little solution and this is some, some like brand new technology that's just come out but assuming this person has already had questionable things on their channel i'm like no you're not gonna have this like suddenly miraculous keloid healing gel but they said at the beginning it says listen just listen very carefully he meant to get her hoop switched out they gave her an irritation bump also known as a keloid it gave Gave her an irritation bump, also known as a keloid. Irritation bumps and keloids are completely different things. Hypertrobic scarring, which is what the irritation bumps are, and keloids are not the same thing. This is like an actual piercer in a piercing studio who's supposed to be a qualified piercer who runs a piercing... Like, like, why would you still perpetuate that that they're the same thing? And to be like, use a solution, it's gonna get rid of it. Like, solutions don't get rid of keloids, sis. Again, unless there's some like miraculous new science technology that's suddenly been like come out in medicine. I highly doubt you're gonna be the one that has it. No, sorry, that was that was too. But again, to me, the fact that you said at the beginning, it gave her an irritation bump, also known as a keloid. That's just factually incorrect. That is grossly incorrect. And you're supposed to be a qualified piercer. Sars. Okay, so what is this? So nothing bad happened. What? Did you get another piercing? No. Did you stretch your ear more? No. Did you split your tongue? No. Did your ear split again? Wait. <gasps> oh no. Oh look how big it is as well. The other one is split. Oh no! Oh god. She split, girl. Splits. Oh god. <gasps> look at that. Oh, she's dangling, girls. Dangly wangly. Oh god. Oh. Get some sewing pins, girl. Oh, that's awful, 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 awful. Uh, that's anything like, I, I actually find quite big ears quite 
fun. I would never have anything remotely that size. I couldn't even imagine living with something that size. But the tearing aspect obviously increases even further the bigger you get because obviously there's a bigger surface area to get caught on something. But, oh no! No, 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 no. No, girls. I don't like that at all. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, I'm moving on. I'm moving on up. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me the plague. My ears taking the pain I couldn't handle anymore. I forgot what? what? Oh, for God's sake. How are we still using the actual- These are like- oh, oh, whack! Smack! Smack! She's dead! Just one- Like, those guns are so aggressive. Like, so aggressive. The way they, like, smack it in, like, really will cause, like, ear cartilage to shatter! Shiver me timbers, boy! Me ears and paces! Why- Okay, now it's just gone back to the beginning. The idea that we're still using these really vintage old piercing guns, like, obviously don't use any piercing guns to begin with, but, like, those ones, like, they're old, sis. Like, they were the shit that I would see in, like, the 90s. We have come a long way so much when it comes to not just, like, body modification, but technology in general. The idea that we're still using these, like, outdated guns is just it's weird it's so weird and you know as 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 the famous saying goes birds of a feather die so what is this once your belly button piercing is healed that you can do this oh stop pulling it. oh i mean you can do it if you want girl oh there's something about like pulling on a piercing that is always disgusting even though it's like healed the idea of like, yanking it on fleshy ones oh i hate it just pulling it up like yes sure you can do it if you really want to do this you can you can do it put your back into it i can do it put your ass into it oh shut up you silly old f <gasps> like you can do it if you really want to but like i was still just like maybe just don't because like just you might jolt or maybe your body decides to have a, a quick quick twitch and all of a sudden it's ripped out girls like when it comes to like s-e-x some people love to do that kind of stuff with like nipple piercings and pull them and stuff, but the idea of doing that makes me feel so sick! Okay, so- Oh! Oh no! Oh, I can't believe how silly our crazy rats are. I bet you did that on purpose. I bet you put him through that just to like- I don't know. I feel like you did that. You, you probably did that yourself. I don't know what to do. Oh God. Here, let me get this one. And then again, it's like, <coughs> the rat's probably a little bit distressed by this. Like maybe just get him out, get her, you know, get the rat out instead of filming it. I don't know. I just think when it comes to like animals and things, like leave them out of it. I just, oh, when it's trapped around his body, look, it's trapped around his body. Look, it's trapped around its body still, like the tunnel, it's, oh. And then some people love to call me Killjoy. And I know I'm fully am a grumpy old man, but when it comes to your pets and animals, like just leave them out of this kind of stuff. Did the animal just do it itself? He was facing forwards so was he really climbing up your back and then went through i don't know i feel like this was probably planted we'll see the internet has made me skeptical about everything i see everything i'm like no it's lies <laughs> Oh, I'm now a conspiracy theorist. No, but I, I just, just just leave them out of it, girls. Just leave your pets out. Pets and piercings don't mix. Just leave them out of it. Oh, wait, ooh. Hey. oh. This person's got like a, a barbell stuck in the, how the f fuck did you get that in there? How did you get it in there? How the hell did you get that in? Good morning. How did you get that in? I was burping them by the way. I didn't want to do the microphone. Might upset some people, but that, oh God. See, part of me goes, did you like just do that on purpose? Like, did you unscrew the ball, put the bar and even screw on top for like a TikTok? Because like, I just don't understand how you would get that in there. The force that you would have to push that in. I would understand more if it was like the inside one, like you were biting down on the inside and pushed it through, but it's the outside one. So like, how did you get this turned in like this? So then go in, were you doing this? I don't know. That feels, I don't know. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> so what is this? So piercing pig. Piercing. Oh, not a snake eye piercing. Why is the channel called piercing pigs? Oh, pierce the piggy wiggy girls. Oink, oink. I want a piercing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some dodgy websites are going to enjoy that snort. Right. So this is. So this person's getting a, a snake eye piercing in 2023 because apparently snake eye piercings are still in fashion. For some reason, we don't know, girls. What's happening? So it, so oh, she's coming for you. Hard just snake eyes, girls, because you're gonna die. I just find it weird that there are pieces who are still happy to do this. Like, I. The good thing about this, right, is I do feel like the times are shifting when it comes to this kind of piercings. I had a quick look at the comments on this, and a lot of people are 
agreeing and saying that you shouldn't do this. Oh, that's so stupid. Goodbye to your tooth enamel. Yeah, I looked at the comments quickly on this. The general consensus of the comments were like, what are you doing? Why would you do that? It's really stupid. So I'm really glad that at least it's kind of turned, like, the, you know, the, the tides are slightly turning because, of course, these are really stupid. There's so many different dangers to do this. I'm not going to keep going on why, the why these kind of piercings are dangerous. Like, you watch the other videos, you'll find out why. But the, it's really stupid. The, the fact that you're doing snake eye piercing still, it's just stupid. It's really stupid. Okay, so what is this strategy? Stretching my ears to 28 millimeters. Oh, they got really nice makeup. <gasps> oh no, see, they've had a blowout. <gasps> see, that's a, wait, 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 wait. See that, they've, they've obviously had a blowout at some point. See, that's what happens. This is why stretch, they're gonna stretch your ears while having a blowout. Can you, should you do that? Should you be still stretching if your ears got a, because isn't that all just gonna be scar now? When you have blowouts, it's really difficult to get your ear to look back normal again, which is why we always say don't stretch your ears too fast. Don't force things in there that can't fit. Don't put like eight sizes in one week. Like don't, all this stuff. Like just when you're doing ear stretching, you have to do it slowly and over a long period of time. Trying to do stretching fast, you can end up with things like this. And now this person's got like this huge bubble of scar tissue because they had an ear blowout. So they're going to stretch. I don't, is it a good idea though to stretch, keep stretching after you've had blowouts though? I don't know if that's a, like, are you just going to ask for more trouble? I don't know. So they're putting, well, that was uneventful. Oh, and it just went in easy. Sure. I mean, if it's working, great. I just, I just, I'm not sure about the, the, how smart it is to stretch after having blowouts. Like, isn't it just going to make it look worse as it gets larger? I don't know. Sure. So what is this? So, oh, oh, this person's getting a belly button piercing. Oh, pop, pop goes the slut. Oh, Okay, good. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Oh, we love to see something good with the bad don't we girls? On the night, so this is an old, me two years ago thinking this was going to get rid of my mini keloid. <gasps> oh no, pop goes the slut. Oh no. Yeah, you, okay. <laughs> the, the, the sad thing about this is I actually hear a lot of like similar things when it comes to keloids. People thinking that you can just like pop them off. They're not the same as like a pimple where it's like full of like, pus and like blood or whatever or plasma there's more to it there's like it's like an actual like piece of tissue you can't just pop it but i hear this quite a lot if you do have keloids unfortunately the only way to get rid of them is you need them surgically removed i don't know if ones of this size if you could maybe take them off by using a different method but especially like if they get big you can't pop them or like use any sort of solution on them whatever keloids need to be surgically removed oh pop off sis you put 50 pence in channel. I had someone say in a video recently, it was like, I can't stand all the popping in the microphone. I apologize. I cannot. This is just part of my personality. Say. If me doing this affects you, I apologize, but probably choose a different channel to watch because I can't control them. I love a pop. Okay, so what Come is with us to get our baby's ears pierced. Come with us to get our baby's ears pierced. Why not? Why not? It's a good idea. Yeah, let's all do it. I'm excited, but I just feel like, you know, she didn't like sign up to get a pierce. We're just like doing it for her, making the decision for her. But I know she'll thank us later on. She's just so Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. So they're fully aware that they're doing it without her consent, but she's like, I don't care. The thing is, I ha again, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Take away from the pain aspect or the trauma or anything like this. I just don't understand this assumption that every girl is going to want to have ears her ears pierced. How are we still buying into this like societal ideology of what females are and what girls are? Be like, well, girls always want their ears pierced. They're going to have to, like some girls don't want to have their ears pierced. I had many people over the years when I talk about this kind of stuff, like comment how they don't want ears pierced. It'd be like, she's going to thank me when she's older. Like why? And then to film it all as well, I just like, for God's sake. Oh no, she doesn't even know what's about to happen. Claire's even worse. Claire's. I am not well right now. How are you feeling, Dad? Now, now it's hitting me. Are you sad? Not Should sad. we walk out? We still have time to walk I'm out. Nervous. Let's go. I'm Let's scared. Do it. We can walk out still. I mean, it's fine. But what would you do for the? What would you do without the TikTok video for the attention? Are you ready? She said no. Definitely shook her head no. I'm so That's sad fine. for some reason. Okay. It's like Very her nervous. little baby. Babies are not toys. Obviously, Yay! I'm blowing the child. So you can't really see her, but she's like, she's like newborn. Sobbing, distress, pain, of course. 
Oh, the real tear. Yeah. I'm done. I'm not going to watch more of that. Like, it's it, again, at this point, it's so stupid. The fact that you're even self-aware about this, and you're like, well, we're going to do it anyway. Like, eh, got to get the likes. Got to get the views. Like, people might say, oh, we're not doing it for attention, whatever. Like, I'm sorry. Everyone, like, anyone who's posting things like this on TikTok and putting hashtags and all this stuff is doing it because they want people to see them and attention. I'm a YouTuber. And this is my full-time job. And of course... I want attention. Everything I post on the internet, obviously I'm trying to educate people, but ultimately as well, to sustain this other job, I need attention. All YouTubers are attention seekers to a certain degree. So when you, like, I hate this notion of like, no, we're not saying no, don't be silly, no. Like, you can have underlying meanings and you want to put something positive in the world, but ultimately you're still doing it for, like, more views and attention and stuff. So when you do things like this, like, well, we feel bad, we shouldn't be doing it really because the baby doesn't want it, but, you know, she'll thank us when she's older, I'm sure, like, I'm nervous. It's like, and then, like, well, we could just walk out now, but you're not going to, are you? Because you want the attention. I hate this, I hate this idea that, like, no, no, we just do no, I want to just remember. If you want to remember it, you wouldn't put it on the internet and social media. I still find putting your babies and stuff on the internet a bit strange anyway like I find it very and hence why I blur most of the stuff when it comes to like more younger audience like I find it very strange that like, mummy channels and all this like family bloggers and all these things I find all that concept very strange anyway just to put your baby on the internet your child on the internet we've heard so many horror stories over the years now especially on the podcast episodes of Luxaria we've heard so many horror stories of like parents like forcing their kids into adulthood like being filmed putting loads of the stuff on the internet and then the child like resenting the parents because like social media now has been around for so long that there are many kids who have been put on the internet back like, you know, 10, 11 years ago who are now adults who are like, I hate the fact that all that was on the internet. So even just like posting your baby on the internet like this and piercing her, like take away even from like, oh, babies might not want their piercings when they're old or whatever. Like just putting them on the internet like this, I find very strange. I just find it very strange. I don't like family vloggers and family mummy channels. I just find it all very weird that like, you're happy just to plast your child all over the internet for everyone to see. Because it gets to the stage as well as like, especially when you get it to be your full-time job it's like your children are now working if they like there's laws against children working and when you get to a stage where you're filming your child all day every day putting on the internet it's like well technically that would be like child exploitation they're legally not they would never be allowed to work this in like a normal job there's laws against children working certain hours but when you become like a full-time like mummy blogger or like a family channel or like anything like that. It's kind of like, well, I guess fair game, feel them all day every day. Again, we've heard many st horror stories of now kids hating their parents because they put so much stuff on the internet. The perfect example is that, you know, that religious family recently where she was done for child abuse because of this kind of stuff and the, the punishment punishments that she was doing to her children. It's awful, disgusting, vile. Wash the gloves with salt water. This, this lemon. is one of my claims to now, fame. What? The what? Wait, what's happening? The needle <gasps> is a lot thicker, but it's still oh, pointy. Oh, it's this. Size jewelry. I'm I'm putting in this is a four gauge circular barbell like out this is a throwback, girls. This is a throwback. So I'm assuming this. So this, I'm, the, the, the post is this is the oh, my only claim to fame. So I'm assuming it's this account. This girl made this video what years ago? I don't remember when. This was in a video in my early days of doing piercing gone wrong videos. We're talking like 2019. This girl was in it because she was piercing a septum with like a, a, a like a turkey thermometer. Or, uh, was Obviously, it wasn't hair, actually real, but Jesus Christ. In this room. So I'm just using this bead that I have. Throw back. Love enough towel to check girls. Line. Oh. You don't want to touch your piercing implements without gloves God. on. Uh, I'm just gonna get the dust off of this. You're just gonna put the pointy part oh, of it's the so thermometer in front of your nose, and you just gotta push. And this time, you're I, I, and to I don't try know, to know if it was intentional, through. but like. I don't know if she tried to mimic Miranda sings because the voice is like identical. Didn't age very well. So then I'm just gonna Toxic align it and then screw it on. So obviously she already had this piercing, but I remember the internet went crazy back in the day when she first the made this. One. And like, Hi. I was tagged so many times in the original video. I mean, I was tagged like eight times just in this one, but the original video was like pandemonium. It was like chaos. But yeah, I remember trying making that. Oh, oh throw it oh, <laughs> Love memory lane, yes. Oh, I don't care. I love memory lane. We love memory lane, don't we? So what is this? Guys, get my get my ears pierced for me. Okay, so we're getting ears pierced. So, so they're getting two, one low piercing, one upper low. Wait, what? They're doing all of them. Wait, how many? Wait, how many was that? I'll be like one of your girls. Then you pause the sound hanger. I'm gonna get copyright struck. Right, one, two, th wait, wait, sorry. Um, pause. Stupid, stupid whore. I said pause. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nine piercings in one go. You're doing nine piercings. Oh my God. 
Why are piercers agreeing to do this? Why are piercers agreeing to do this? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Nine in one, and it was all in the same year. Jesus Christ, Mary Magdrashliers. Give me a call if you ever get lonely. I'll be like one of your girls. Number four in the conch, stupid. You're not gonna be able to sleep. Jesus Christ. Ow, I'm hurting, go. Did they change it and only do four in the end? Did they only do... Maybe... Oh, they only did four in the end. Well, thank God you stopped at four. Jesus Christ. Imagine if you were doing... Oh, God. I'm assuming maybe they're like, no, it's actually too many. I'm scared. I'm glad you stopped at four, but still four's too many. Three is the maximum. Three is the maximum, girls. Your body will find that very hard to heal. Very hard. Okay, so what is this? Woke up at 3 a.m. to my ear throbbing. Oh, throb zombie. Wow. God. Jesus, yeah. Thought the back of my earring fell up, but realized it was inside my ear. It can happen. Make sure the jewelry is the right jewelry for your ear. Don't use cheap jewelry on healing piercings. God, the back of my ear was swollen shut as so my husband tried to pull it out through the front. Oh no! Threw up and almost passed out from the pain, so headed to ER. Jesus Christ. So, and this is America too, so that's gonna be a lot of money. Oh no, it sunk inside my ear. Oh no, oh no, I'm going to tears. Oh gosh, what's that? Had to cut it out. Oh, Jesus Christ. $500 later and both piercings are out and I'm scarred from my experience. Yeah, I cannot imagine it. Jesus Christ. I don't know what happened in this situation, but wow. There wasn't like any real description of what was going on, but it just said my ear started rejecting the piercings. I don't know if they were healed or whatever, but the thing is it could have been like the piercing was healed and you put jewelry in that your body had an allergy to and all of a sudden it was like, ah, help me girls, what's going on? <laughs> it can happen though. Things like your ear, sometimes bodies can just be weird. Like even with tattoo inks, luckily I've not really had any kind of I say, not, uh, luckily I haven't had any kind of, I haven't had anything at all. Like no allergies to ink. There are certain times where like, even if you've had pe like tattoos for like 10 years, sometimes your body can just suddenly be like, I don't like this ink anymore. Goodbye. And it can swell up, make infections. Like when you have like modifications like this, you have to think about the long term. Unfortunately, your body can suddenly develop allergies to things. So like you may have had those patients for a little while and have been fine. All of a sudden your body's like, do you know what? Fuck uh you. <laughs> the magical world of the human body girls. Piercing your baby's ears. Relaxing. Side eye. Leave me alone. Pushing her away. God, it's when they hold them down like this. To, screaming like, my head. They, oh, this, it's over. they got me. It's over. Oh, pain. pain. And the baby's screaming. Again, I'm so sick of these videos. They literally, the baby is like wriggling. To, I can't, actually, this, this final shot, I can't show you. But like, the baby has got her ears pierced, whatever. But they just put the fluffy hood of her coat like over it. So the hood's going to be rubbing against the piercings, like a brand new piercing. So like, dirt. It's it's the fact that the baby is like wriggling. And the father is like holding the head down with his like, for, like his forearm is hot, like on the top of his head here. Like, holding the baby still with the other arms, like, like squeezing the baby's arms in so it can't move while it's trying to wriggle and screaming and it's kicking its legs. Like, if you have to do that much to get a piercing, maybe think of it as a sign that maybe it's not a good idea. Selfish. And again, again, hashtags for you page, hashtag for you. The whole thing about, I don't know if it's true anymore, like back in the early days when you do put the for you page, there was a chance that maybe you'd be putting like suddenly everyone's feeds. It used to be the same with Instagram. I think it was like Insta good or something. It used to be like a thing that people used to put on their like hashtags years and years and years ago because there was a chance you would get loads of likes. And it used to work. And like, especially on TikTok for you, when you put FYP and for you and stuff, like in the earlier days, it sometimes used to work and you would sometimes get like a shit ton of likes from using the hashtag. It doesn't work anymore just because of how like massive TikTok is, but like, people still try it. So the fact that you film this and put FYP for you page all that stuff on your hashtags just shows you're just trying to get attention and you're using a horrible time like this from your baby to get attention. Like it's just it's shit. Your children are not toys. They're not props. They're not things for you to get attention with. I just hate it. You negligent monster. Aww. Okay, so what conch piercing girl? So the good next person's getting a conch piercing. Yeah. So, so this person's putting the needle Oh, wait, what? Oh God, that must hurt them. Why, why did they, why did they pierce? Wait, 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 wait. Cause like, look, 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 this took, why were they doing it so like, so they put the needle to the ear, like pushing it into the ear a little bit and like slowly shoved a bit more of the needle like in the ear. So this person would have been able to feel all of this. And again, like, just kind of like put the needle quite far in the ear before actually like properly pushing it through. 
Okay. Remember what he said? There's a speed to it. Don't go too fast and don't go too slow. Unless I'm missing something that I'm not understanding, please educate me if people understand what was going on there. But that was, like, why Why was he doing that? That was strange. I don't understand what the, let's just push it through a little bit so you feel the needle opening the skin. Like, what? That bar's too short as well. That bar was too short. When, when they pushed it forward through, like, that's... That's after like really pushing it through. That's, that that bar's too small either. So what is this? Seeing someone with new snake bites and minimal swelling. Oh God, you are that, those. Yeah, your your lips sucking on that bar are gonna suck them all in. You're gonna dig dig into your skin. But what's funny is we see a lot of these kind of stuff. Like we may have even seen this before. I don't really remember. But like, do you want me to tell you one way to make swelling and things worse? Going, oh, is my lip swollen? Like that's not gonna make it any better, sis. So what is this? So, wait, what's this? Oh! <gasps> oh no, stop it! Wait, what's happening? Oh my god, and you're thread- Oh, so not the threading, not the threading of the thread. That video kind of ended really abruptly. The threading, ear thread- No, stop it. Stop putting sewing thread through your ears. That's not a good idea. Like, let's just be honest, it's not a good idea. Unclean! Unclean! Shame! 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 Okay, so what is this? So this person's getting a ah. nose. Oh, for God's sake. Ice, ice, Sorry. ice, ice, baby. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Pierce my nose and get an infection. Okay, so of course, this is and badly. That's that's one of those like sewing needles, isn't it? That you used to like crochet and stuff with. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, go out, Charlie. I can't believe the person who made Charlie Bit My Finger sold the video as an NFT, and now the original video is like off the internet. What? Okay, so what is this? Just decided on my next piercing. It's called a lobotomy, and it's supposed to really help mellow me out. Just decided on my next piercing. It's called a lobotomy, and it's supposed to really help mellow me out. They let you keep the piece of brain they cut out. We know how the good saying goes. Birds of a feather, die. Okay, so what is, oh wow, I've not seen her for a long time. Oh wait, is she gonna, is she gonna still, wait, is she still do, <laughs> are you kidding? Is she still doing that? Are you kidding? This is only 16 hours ago. Is she still doing it? <laughs> So, if people don't know, obviously I've been doing these piercing fails now for about five and a half years. It's been a long time. Back in the earlier days, in like sort of like 2020, I don't know, it was like 2020, 2021, whatever, she, it was about three years ago, this girl was on, she went viral on TikTok because she did this exact thing. She did this exact thing where she was like, there was music playing. Obviously I can't play this music in the background, I can't play it. And then to the beat, she then sticks her like, Koosh bar from her tongue piercing, like out like this, and she went like mega viral. And I did just, 16 hours ago, she's still doing it. Oh God. So this was like the original one that she made, and this was like three years ago. Obviously, I can't play the music, but she's going, touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop. I've got gout, touch it. That was basically what the song was. But it was, I just, I just find it so funny that it's been like three years and she's still doing the exact same thing. I mean, you know what? If it works for you, do it. Although the other one only had like, 6,000 likes and this original one has 7.5 million. So clearly <laughs> it doesn't work as much, but do you know what? You do you, sis. <laughs> so what is this? So this is in, I feel the pain. Well, you let your little sister off. who never pierced what? an ear pierce your ear at home. Oh. Why? You read the instructions. Oh. If you want to get back to say like what? Oh my God. I thought it was like the nose piercing. So now it's stuck. Oh, now now the, 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 the gun Girl, is stuck. Be careful. Oh, it's the back. I had to snap the back in. Sorry, girl. That looks cute. Someone called for, I feel attacked. I mean, you agreed to do it. You're in fault. Oh, gosh. Whatever happens here. Oh, gee, it's sunk in. The, oh, sunk in. Oh, gosh. Jesus. Sunk in, sunk in, sunk in my helix girl. Oh God. Make sure that the bar that you're putting into your ear is the right size because clearly that was too small and the ear was like, 
I'm hungry, hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry, hungry hippos. Piercing my ears with a safety pin on a school Piercing night. Piercing my ears with a safety pin on a school night. Oh, a no set up because on weekends it's different. That's not going to be clean, is it? Let's be honest. Like, that's not going to Rubbing be clean. Alcohol. <laughs> oh, God. Rubbing ouquage. Just, just putting that. What you, what you. You're just gonna rub that on on the safety. That's not gonna do much. You're you're not. You don't wear gloves. You're putting the things down on the floor. You're kind of wibbling in your hands. Like that's you're you're now touching all of your hair. Eraser like you think just putting a bit of rubbing alcohol on that thing is gonna do anything? Oh, now you've got an eraser. You're using a rubber. You're using needle. a rubber behind Definitely it because don't that's recommend a safety pin. This is, they, a this, he, I swear people don't understand how germs and bacteria actually work because like, you've just voided anything you've done by just using a rubber. And the thing is, the rubber looks like it's been used. It doesn't even look like a brand new one. It looks like it's got like debris from like the, 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 the pencil. Ouchie, ouchie. I've got gouchy. Stupid. Wonderful. Oh, oh, clean, 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 clean with the ice pack. Give me goiter in the ear. Oh no, Rosie O'Donnell. Rotting off and I'm dead. I use oh, baby well, shampoo I guess plus I got the water plague. to clean. I use baby shampoo plus water to clean. Okay. And then you're gonna put more ice packs and more, <laughs> more rubbers on the back. <laughs> oh God. Americans are kind of like, what the hell is a rubber? I thought we used Replace that to do naughty earrings. things. No, a rubbers and erasers in the UK. Rubber, rubber dub dub. I have got gout. <laughs> oh God, replace with earring. Oh, it's stupid. The thing is, as I've always now said, when you, when you just use like, things like safety pins and the thumbtacks and everything, it doesn't make space for piercings. So when you pull pull the needle out, the hole like fuses together again because it's not made space for the piercing. You've just split the ear open. So to put the actual bar in afterwards, you're then having to like stretch the hole you just made. I'm bored of this video. I'm not going to watch any more of this. It's just stupid. When you're, when you're using needles, it's a hollow needle. And when it goes through the ear, it actually creates the space for the piercing to go. Whereas things like thumbtacks and safety pins and sewing pins, all the stuff, it just rips the skin open. It doesn't actually, because also, the, the, got to remember as well, they're not sharp enough to actually pierce through flesh like that. They're supposed to be made for different things, like fabrics and stuff. Skin, it's not meant to pierce through. So even going through, you're just ripping the skin open. Ugh. So what is this? Oh, I just pierced my bridge with a safety pin. Really, go, Really? Re why? Just kidding. I love lying on the internet. Oh, was it? Oh, you'd shit. Oh, is that? Is that fake? Was it fake? Or was that just like you pretending it was fake? Was it fake or was it not? The holes there it looked like oh, was there. oh, was it fake? I don't know. Was that real? Was it fake? Oh, who knows? But I want to make a point very clear to anyone who might watch this. Don't ever pierce your bridge with a safety pin. I will be calling the police. <laughs> Here's another one for you. Hope you have fun with- Oh, not this. I'm sick of these dirty, dirty stick- we I mean, we've probably seen this before as well. It's hard to remember, but we've seen lots of these ones with a- I just don't understand how there is so much dirt inside your ear. Hang on, there's music in the background. Gonna get me copyright stricken banned from the internet. I just don't understand how there's so much gunk inside your earlobe. That's so disgusting. That's so repugnant. Like, what? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your piercing gunk. I don't understand. Let's not and say we say, 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 you, you dirty bitch. I know a bitch when I see one. Can we please make it a law that you have to clean yourself? <laughs> So I found out oh, my boyfriend God. cheated on me Not with one of this these girl things. and she had the audacity to make another appointment with me. So I gave her these piercings a few months ago and she's so nasty she didn't clean them once. Ugh, she's disgusting and my boyfriend can have her. As you can see, I did not go lightly. So I... this is the new game Beauty Care and you can encounter so many different Wait, clients what's happened? Like what, what's that? What it they've, is so what's... satisfying. I play it every night This feels I like asleep. one of those Minecraft so games. Is that I'm the asshole when it's actually like a, a Minecraft game watching someone play, playing Minecraft and they're telling a story with Alma the Arsa or something. My boyfriend cheated on me. I found out my boyfriend cheated on me. Girl, the audacity, another appointment with me. And the girl made an appointment with her. And then she's like, oh, this is my piercing. They've basically seen one of those Minecraft games or like when, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto Sky Car ones or whatever, telling the stories and going, we're going to make a piercing version. So they'll tell stories while cleaning piercings or something. Um, thank you, Missy. So Missy has sent me this. What is this? So, oh God. So this person's getting an industrial? And then dust your girls. Okay, so... Go, girls! 
So this is one, and then they're getting... Oh, okay, good. They didn't use the same... I mean, I'm assuming... No, they didn't use the same noodle twice, which is nice. After seeing the other girl who's like, I only use the same noodle all the time, constantly all the time. Same one over and over again. Oh, okay. So they're getting an industrial... So normally we see bad things. I think this is actually okay. Okay, delicious. And I like that... Oh, I like that little mushroom. I like that little mushroom earring. That cute little toad. So old toad is quaking. Okay, wonderful. We love to see the good with the bad, don't we? Yes. <laughs> Best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. True, true, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye! Oh, and I'm back to just like Jesus Christ. Oh, squat for Jesus. Oh, Jesus loved a good peach. Oh, Jesus loved to get rolled on the last supper table. Oh, Jesus hated the snake eye piercing. Oh, but Eve loved the apple from the snake. Oh, this has been a lot. This has been, this isn't like... This is what I mean. Like, I get sent so much stuff that I just had to do this. I was like, I'm not going to let any of this stuff go to waste. Because it's sometimes when, you know, I get sent quite a lot of stuff. So things get hidden quite a lot. And if I don't do them almost instantly, they get hidden with new stuff. So I'm glad that I did this one. But some of the things in this one was really shocking. That child who had the snake eye piercing. I'm never going to... I'm so confused. I'm going to have to, like, double check who this person is afterwards. To be like, are they actually a child? Or they just happen to have, like... <laughs> A very young face, but even still, I find that very doubtful. That was weird. That was weird. And all the mummy bloggers piercing their baby's ears for attention, all that shit. <laughs> Disgusting. There's just been a lot in this. There's been a lot in this one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm gobsmacked. Gob, gobsmacked to hell. As I said at the beginning, um, if you haven't watched the most recent piercing video I made uh, on Thanksgiving, dumbass, please make sure you go show that video some love. I want to try to give it a bit of a boost in the algorithm because it did so badly. Um, so go go show the video some love. Go give it some likes, some comments, everything. Let it play through. Watch it. Give me the... Anyway, I love you. Thank you for all the love and support you give me. Yeah, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. I will be back on Thursday for a brand new video. And... If I don't see before, have a lovely Christmas, girls. I know you might be like, oh, Christmas isn't for like another month. Sometimes people come and go. We have a lot of, we have a lot of people here all the time. We have some people who are here now and then. So what, as I always say at the beginning of the videos, so wherever you are in the world, however you are, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and Christmas season. And of course, if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's absolutely fine. I'm not really too honest. I don't really do much for Christmas. Um, but uh, have a lot, happy holidays. Have some nice time off. I'm assuming you all get time off still. Um, but anyway... Thank you for watching today. Yeah, please hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Today's Twitch shout out goes to DJ Warthog. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. Mwah! If you'd like to come in my Twitch family, there's a link down below as well. Come follow me and maybe you can be in the next Twitch shout out. Today's extra special shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being patrons. Love you all. And my shout outs to my, my top tier patrons. I'm a mess. This, I can't, this, this, I'm fully gagged. Luca, Prince of Horror, Cameron Pittman, Callum S, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, Christina. Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Aya, Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are mwah, delicious. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch out there tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you're flawless. Uh, oh.